Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Zaratzian. I'm an event and floral designer. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a wreath with rose hips and fruits. Let's go back into my workshop area and I'm going to show you how this is done. I love wreaths. Uh, there's something about circular things to me. It looks like, you know, you're embounded or you're in the circle of things. Um, I happen to have this beautiful rose hip wreath for um, Thanksgiving. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rose hip wreath that I use for, you know, Thanksgiving and the fall, and I'm going to transfer it into a holiday wreath because uh, I don't want to let go and you actually have the structure. Um, it's so beautiful with the coloration and obviously it, it's an evolving uh, wreath that I call it because the more dried up it gets, the more discoloration it's going to have and so forth. I'm going to start with just one insertion. I'm going to go around. I'm going to glue this right here. And the wreath is going in this direction, as you see, right? So everything is this way. It's facing that way. So I'm going to take this garland and basically what I'm doing is I'm tucking them in in between um, the wreath and the rose hip has a beautiful structure already so this doesn't become hard to do at all and if I need to make sure that it's staying there I can take a piece of wire like so And I can tie that off just to make sure that the rose hips have a really, the stems are thorny. So if you look at this closely, you'll see all the, all the thorns. So I'm trying to avoid getting pricked. And this arrangement is going to look really, really nice. And I'm not even going to use ribbon on this. Oh, I am going to use ribbon. What are you talking about? I'm going to do a very traditional plaid ribbon on this because I think it's going to work really well. Got little pieces of here left over. I'm going to go back in, put a dab of glue, hold it in its place. And this right here, look, look how easy that was, just the first step. Now I'm going to take these bunches of fruits. These are beaded fruits. Basically what you can do is go back with your wires, wire cutters, and cut them off. So basically, I'm gonna do little, all these little pieces, I'm gonna use them inside the wreath, and I'm gonna glue it on. So while I do this, you'll come back and we'll see this all cut up, and then you'll see me actually putting it in there, and then we can finish it off with the plaid wired ribbon, okay? and start inserting the greenery, like so. And I'm actually not looking at how it's turning out. I'm just randomly putting it, I'm just balancing out the color, and I know for a fact this is gonna be gorgeous. And you know, when you're designing, I mean, there is no right or wrong method as long as things look good to you. I usually start in a design, and um, during design process, I, make, I change my mind. You know, I don't want that much fruit in it, or I think I need more fruit in it, or I'm gonna add a little bit of gold, or I'm not gonna add gold. So it's just a matter of preference, right? So I'm gonna glue all those in, finish up with the greens, and then go into my gold embellishments, and then the red, and then I'll do the fruits. I love the holidays. You can do anything, and nobody can say anything to you because it's your style. It's what you like. There is no right or wrong. And you can go glittery as much as you want. That's when all the people like putting out all the sparklers and sparkly things, and it's just a happy time, I guess, of celebrations. See how that's so layered right now. 
taking a rose hip wreath that you used for the fall at your house and then transforming it into a holiday wreath. Who would have known? Now I'm gonna start with my gold little embellishments here. Like so. And again, you know, balance your eye. If you see a little bit more gold or you need more gold in a certain area, go ahead and pump that up. You're gonna get these webby things. What you can do once you're doing these, you know, when the glue gun gets all these webs, like so. I usually take a, um, a hair dryer on hot um, after this is kind of settled with all the glue. And I go back and what it does, it actually destroys all the little, the lines of glue. I'm gonna finish this off. I'm almost there with my golds. And I go on top, on the bottom, on the side. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And I'm gonna start with my red branches. And as you can see on this one, it's all twisted. It's not going in one direction. Some of them I'm using it to the left, some I'm using it to the right. It's kind of inner interweaved um, wreath. Not so much looking at one direction of it. Finish this off. And then now I can go back and I can do my fruits. Got two more of these. So now I can do the grouping of fruits in one area. It seems like this nestle right here, the fruits. So I'm gonna start doing that. I mean, they have the piece of wire. I can go back and wire it. And it'll take a little bit more time, but with the pan melt, I think I can be able to manage this and manifest this to be beautiful. And I don't know, see, I, originally I was thinking about layering the, the fruits all over the wreath, but for some odd reason, my intuition and my design eye is telling me I should group them, like so. And a couple more. And you've got your pears, you've got your pomegranates, you've got your plums and apples. Love that. Find a little piece of Christmas greenery that's not in my wreaths. I'm gonna add it. You see all this web? This is what I'm talking about. Easily taken off with a fan. You gotta wanna make sure that they're adhering to something, otherwise they'll be left kind of out without any surface space, like this. Look how gorgeous this looks. You see the grouping of fruits right here. And I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put my plaid ribbon in between. I'm gonna make a couple different loops and it's gonna feel like I'm tugged, the fruits are tucked in into the ribbon, like so. And I'm gonna cut this off, take my piece of wire and uh, do my tie. And I love wired ribbon because it's so easy to um, maintain and use. Do a little tie like this like a little nook and then I'm gonna take my glue plenty of it and tuck it right in between the fruits like so and it's really just playing with it making sure that each of um, the fruits kind of so show without you destroying the ribbon um, 
because obviously there's a lot of fruit that you put in there right now and you want it to show. And then obviously I'm gonna tuck this in and we've got a beautiful traditional wreath that we made out of the roast hip that we used for the fall and we made this gorgeous, beautiful, traditional wreath. For more information on my video tutorials, go to my YouTube channel, Eddie Zarazian, and I'll see you next time.